Greenwich Village is mostly a state of mind. For the Sapokanakan Indians, it was a happy hunting ground, and it still is, although the Indians are gone, because happy hunting grounds are places of the spirit. It was here that one free soul, Tom Paine, gave America the crisis, and another discovered broccoli on Bleecker Street. The village is an island of color and calm, lying somewhere between Wall Street and Union Square. In 1916, the painter John Sloan declared it an independent republic, and it is that, self-reliant and not easily influenced. Age doesn't matter here, because most who live here wonder and search. Some are poets, some prognosticators, but in the village, everybody's young inside. <coughs> and philosophers have always flocked to the village. Here Joe Gould wrote, in the winter I'm a Buddhist, in the summer I'm a nudist. Painters flock here too, and all schools of art, abstract expressionism, romantic realism, drippers and splatterers, the best and the worst can be found here. This is the circle. On weekdays it's a wading pool for village kids. But on Sundays, the water is turned off and the circle becomes a meeting place for guitarists, bongo and banjo players, villagers on a stroll, folk singers, and tourists. The circle is a good place to meet old friends and make some new ones. Washington Square Park is the center of things on Sunday afternoons. The park, in the past 200 years, has been a dueling field, a potter's field, a parade ground, an execution ground, and a health resort. Today it's just a park with trees and benches and seesaws, and that's the way the village likes it. Twice yearly for over half a century, there have been hundreds of artists exhibiting in the world's largest outdoor art show. Some are fine, many are not. But if you say you're a painter, and you've got the paintings to prove it, you're welcome to try them out before thousands of critical eyes and an occasional well-filled purse. In the village, everybody knows everybody else, more or less.
visitors and most cab drivers are lost the moment they enter the village. But villagers state that these odd angle streets run according to compass directions. It's the rest of Manhattan that's peculiar. With the passage of time, more and more of the old village landmarks are being chipped away and replaced. But the ones that remain, the old studios, the converted stables and carriage houses, and the last of the city's gas lights, are visible reminders of an earlier chapter in the history of New York. Historians say the Six Shooter, Silent Movies, and the Steamboat all got their start in Greenwich Village. And who knows, maybe stickball too. Many old world customs have a place here too, such as boccia, an Italian game. Bocha to burlesque. You can find just about anything in Greenwich Village. The village is the birthplace of American repertory and the home of the vital and thriving off-Broadway theater. There are dozens of intimate holes in the wall where you can listen to jazz, beat poetry, or to the bubbling of espresso machines. For those who search them out, there are secret treasures and hidden gardens to be found all over the village. At the festival of San Gennaro, patron saint of Naples, and the festas of St. Anthony and Our Lady of Pompeii, you can try your luck or stuff yourself with pizza, salsiccia, calzone, sapone, scongili, and cannoli. Mamma mia. So you want to be a hip little girl? You want to learn to swing? You want to be able to 
dig and taking everything, you have to dig everything, as poor Allen Ginsberg said. Now dig me, pretty baby. You should learn everything you can in school. Then come out and use it against them. You should visit a psychiatrist as often as you visit a dentist, once a year. You must love your life out. You must love your life out and live by loving every minute in it. And last, pretty babies, learn to say yes, yes, yes more often. You should read Gregory Carson's poem, Marriage, before ever doing that bit. You should read the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, and even Oren and Zen. Read it all, pretty babies, but only have eyes for that which you need. Don't get hung up like your parents. You should never be chipped off the old square block. So if you want to be hip, you want to learn to swing, and be able to jig and take in everything, and avoid being a square, and be an in kick with an out crowd, be cool without being cold, and remain young, and never grow old, and dig my sermon. My sermon, pretty baby. Pick up on what I just will, but don't flip your wig while doing so. But be hip, cool, and be happy. So, this is Greenwich Village, at least on Sundays. On weekdays, that's another story.